What do you got there, Father Christmas? Off to see uh, Mr. Higgins. Oh no. We've got a couple of uh, cylinder heads there. Very interesting. Let's go see what mischief we can create. Welcome back to Clooney Garage. On today's episode, we prepare our engine block because we are getting new cylinder heads. Let's get there. Duck's guts. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day here at Cleaning Garage. We've taken the Sax 2 little sports cars out, the uh, Honda Civic, because we can't let him drive around in this. It's too big. We definitely can't let him drive in this. Oh, geez. Oh, this thing just finished charging the battery. And we're all ready to go because we're going to get the dealer plates on and take it into Gentech to get the roll cage done. But we're not talking about that today. Watching a bit of Ayrton Senna at Monaco. That's good fun. As I mentioned, and in the thumbnail, this video is all about preparing the engine block of our L77 6 litre for our 500 horsepower build. And this is going to be good fun if I can't stop watching Monaco. But anyway, we'll take you guys through step by step what we're doing here. It's pretty easy not too hard to stuff up and one of the big things is in all our builds and that we follow these um these how-to workbench series this is the gm series for um series three and series four l series motors um it's fantastic it's just got everything you need to know the right specifications for your build but these step-by-step -step tips here and what tools to use and what order it's really good so if you're thinking of doing your own ls build go and invest in one of those books as well as well as, you know, go get some professional assistance as well. Um, don't just rely on cleaning garage. So when we're starting, obviously get our cylinder head off. Um, this is a, just for illustrative purpose, you can see the, the cathedral ported head. So they're actually, that's off an LS1. I'm just using it here as an example. The other one's already gone to Gentec. When you take the heads off, you get these nasty looking, you know, gaskets that come with it. And they leave a huge amount of sticky juice and residue all behind. You've got to get all that off. And look at the carbon build up in all the pistons as well. We're to get all that cleaned up and um, get it looking tickety-boo before our new heads go on. So first step is we're going to start cleaning the deck of the block. So these engines are aluminium, so just be really careful when you're using these scrapers, even a razor blade, but I'll show you a technique with this little scraper here. Do not dig into the aluminium. They're very soft, so just, it's just glancing blows really to get the residue off. Here's one of you know Mrs. Clooney's Dish, dish rags there, little green abrasive. Um, and we've got some lubricants as well, just to keep the surface dry and also to penetrate some of that gasket stuff. But first step, we'll work on this section here and I'll get a bit of a time lapse going, but we'll use the, the straight edge just to knock the edges off that gasket material and put a bit of um, WD-40 carby cleaner and brake cleaner if we need to as well. And then we'll get onto the domes of the pistons. So just spray this top corner here and as I mentioned, if you just go very, very lightly and do not dig, keep a flat blade against the surface of the deck of the head, and you can see all that coming off. And just take your time with it, go slow, and then finish off with Mrs. Clooney's rag after that. But in essence, that's all we have to do. So I'll get going on that. And if we're lucky, might even do a bit of time lapse. So that's starting to look a little bit better. And not only are we getting this deck surface nice and cleaned up, obviously when we get our new heads and get put our new gaskets in there too, but we also want to check the condition and make sure there's no cracks in the deck um, at all. And more importantly, when we're looking inside our pistons here, making sure that we haven't had any valves touching the tops of our pistons. And this engine has done 120,000 Ks before um, we actually bought it. So I'm actually really interested to know the condition of these pistons. So let's get all the carbon off them and same sort of thing. Use a bit of WD-40, your brake cleaner if you have to, and carby cleaner. And um, this time I'll use my little uh, Mrs. Clooney's dish rag. 
and uh, but go really soft and gentle and yeah, just take your time with it. So when you first spray onto it, get the carbon off, it comes off really easy, look at that. So we'll just keep that. Look at this. Just like cleaning Mrs. Clooney's oven, isn't it? These pistons look like they're in remarkable condition, just quietly. Have a go at that. I'll keep going on that one and clean it up and then we'll um, I'll keep hand cranking the engine as well and get all the pistons to TDC and then we can check the balls as well. Alright, that one's polished up and we'll start moving on these next guys here. And we've got to repeat the process across that bank as well. This is pretty easy though. I just can't stop watching that on. Just watching a bit of Schumacher there before in the Benetton. Now have a look at this. It's coming together quite nicely. It's looking a million bucks. And the inside of these bores, so you can show you here, this is the EFI for you. No glazed bores, you know, 100,000 Ks, nothing. And this motor is in perfect condition. So just let you guys have a good look at all the tops of the cylinders there. As you can see, no valve markings or anything like that. Nothing looks like it's burnt or discolored or that. These pistons are brand spanking new. So how good's that? So um, we're not going to have to change pistons in this. This thing's fine. And I'm going to show you the rotating assembly in a second. I'll hand rotate it. So you can have a look. But I'll tell you what, for an automatic low kilometre car, we are pretty, pretty happy about that. And just so you can see, I'm not making a fool or a liar of myself. This is not a staged production. It's a full working donk, so that's a full rotation and we are going to gap the pistons as well when we go into Gentech and put this in and we're going to just um, check number three and number two cam bearings as well. All right, talk to you about the next thing we're doing. So you saw at the start of the video, we're actually sent our heads down to Higgins. Now Higgins race heads have been in business for a long time and they make some of the, um, some of the best heads that are out there, particularly for these LS motors. So they do small block Chevys and Fords as well. But um, the reason we're going heads is that we're actually going to go a big camshaft um, with a heap of lift. So if we've got to do the valve springs anyway, then we might as well throw, you know, throw some decent heads on it. Um, the other advantage of going with different heads too is that you can actually get more compression, shave the, the head of the, um, of the heads and we'll get this, um, we're going to be probably in the 11 and a half to one territory on this motor. Um, and therefore we want, you know, CNC ported heads, lots of flow design. When you see the background there with Nathan there. Um, so our heads are down here at um, Higgins as we speak. So hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll be able to show you what they look like when they come back. Alrighty, YouTube, it's a bit of a shorter video today. I've got to keep working on this thing. I'm going to take young Fred Jr. out for a drive. He's already been driving the Honda earlier, so we might take the gets out, and then I'm going to take those slicks off as well, because we don't want the slicks getting all damaged before we go hit the track. Don't do it for Dale, do it for Brocky, catch you later.